What is up everyone, this is just a quick video to tell you that you absolutely need to get yourself a Hydreigon on this community day. Uh, this Saturday, Hydreigon will be receiving Brutal Swing, and the stats were just data mined, and they're really freaking good, and they will make Hydreigon good in basically every area of the game. First off, in PvP, 65 damage. 40 energy, it's a Surf clone, and Surf is a pretty good move, and Brutal Swing will be as well. Now, when they originally were data mined, they also had a 100% chance to decrease the opponent's attack by two stages, which made it absolutely, like, insane. Luckily, that has been removed, because that would have been too good. Now, there's no debuff chance at all, which I think is good. It's still amazing. And for PvE, 65 damage, 33 energy, so very very cheap and honestly i'm not gonna pretend i know what the rest of these numbers mean but just looking at poke battler high dragon will be insane in raids as well making it one of the best if not the best dark type attacker this is just you know versus mewtwo it is on the top of the charts only being bested by mega gengar mega houndoom and shadow mewtwo so for raids high dragon will be an absolute monster then in pvp it's gonna be super super good as well in great league and ultra league it doesn't really have the stats but in master league it definitely does this is just a quick matrix simulation versus uh the master league premier classic meta which of course unfortunately we don't have this season but if it returns high dragon will be a beast just looking at its overall re record versus the meta uh it has uh, 20 wins 16 losses where Dragonite, which is like the closest comparison, only has 17 wins. But more importantly, is what it wins. Of course, because it has the dark typing instead of flying, it loses to the fighters. But luckily, they were never that common. Hydreigon, because it lacks the flying typing, is actually able to beat Excadrill, which is kind of insane. Now, this is a close matchup. If you look at this uh, in the ones, uh, Excadrill actually died. Oh, actually, it's not even that close. I thought it died with a drone store but no it's not even that close wow yeah hydreigon beating this is uh it's just wild uh it, it lose to garchomp which is unfortunate but for that you get uh like hip out on as well you destroy magnezone now you beat metagross what i'm trying to say it's a dragon that can beat steel types which is really freaking good you beat Milotic, which i guess is not that common uh but yeah this thing is gonna be a monster you beat warain what wait i didn't Right, my initial look, I didn't even see this. Wait, it's Warren? No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Like I'm saying, this thing is really freaking good. And that's just uh, Master League Premier Classic. This is the Open Master League, level 50. It's gonna be really good as well. Now, if I compare it to Dragonite, it has a worse win rate, only winning 15 uh, of, of the meta mons, whereas Dragonite beats 19. But again, it matters what you beat. Uh, just like in Master League Premier Classic, it's a dragon that, that beats the steel types like Extra like Metagross. It destroys Giratina Origin and Altered, uh, which, which are very common Pokemon. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that well versus Groudon, but this is quite bait dependent. You make it quite close still. Uh, you're better versus Lugia, which is also quite a common Pokemon. You really don't have to worry about the fighters in Master League at all. They're not really that common, so that dark, dark typing, the fighting weakness isn't really that anything to worry about uh oh yeah memo swine you lose in once but i think if you get like three dragon bread advantage you win like it's kind of wild uh really uh metagross you beat of course you destroy mewtwo especially the most common moves moves out of mewtwo currently is side strike shadow ball you absolutely obliterate mewtwo with that move set so yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? Hydreigon is gonna be an absolute monster. Also, I'm simulating it, simulating it with Dragon Pulse in this because I think it's the more fair comparison with Dragonite. I think usually you're gonna wanna run Flash Cannon, honestly, since Dragon Pulse doesn't really give you anything, to be honest. Uh, I didn't sim it earlier because it gets kind of bait dependent, but with Flash Cannon, you can actually beat like... Uh, like Zation in like the, the zero shields. If you get like, I think you need like a two Dragon Breath advantage. Yeah, it's it's kind of 
kind of bonkers really it's only with close combat wild charization though if they have pay rough you just got one shot before you get there you need like uh wait this is kind of funny you need like a i think 27 energy lead and you'll be win the ones <laughs> it's kind of cool uh, but that's that's too much for energy but uh, anyway i'm rambling too much a uh, hydragon is gonna be an absolute monster in raids in pvp go get yourself a good one on community all right have fun bye bye